increase uh, the prior year months by 3%. So we know that we're looking for, if we look in the answer, we're looking for June. So we have May here and then we have June. So we need to think about, okay, well, what's going to happen to June then based on this? So that's where we want to go. I'm going to format paint this and go here. And we know that the, the unit sales are going to increase by 3%. A couple ways we can calculate that. We're going to say that uh, unit sales are 400. So for May unit sales, we have 400 and it's going to increase by 3%. So we could say, okay, well, the increase is going to be 3%. I'm going to put 0.03. And I'm going to go back on that cell. We're going to go to the home tab, alignment. And just remember, if I add decimals, 3% is 0.03. If we move this, if we move the decimal over, or we can make it a percent, 3%. And then if we multiply that out, we're going to say, all right, well, the increase then is 4,000 times 3%. It's going to increase by 12. So the increase is going to be by 12. So this is the increase. I'll say increase percent. And this is actually the actual increase in dollars. And that's going to be the 12. So note that we might do that a bit more quickly by saying, all right, well, if it's 400 and it's going to increase by 3%, instead of putting 3%, we might just put 100% plus 3% is 1.03. So note, we can do this a lot in one calculation. This is worth noting by saying 1.03, 103% of the original number means that it's going to go to 412. R you know, rather than taking this 412 and saying, What's the new sales going to be? 400 plus 12. We can do that with one calculation by saying 400 times 1.03, 103%. That'll give us that 412. So if I did that over, over here again, what we're doing is we're saying I'm taking this 400 times 1.03, 103%. 1.03, that gives us the, the uh, 412 times the 700 unit price. So, so we don't really need to calculate May, but if we wanted to, we can say, okay, May is 400 units times 700 per unit. Enter, that comes out to 280 sales. And then June is going to go up to 214, uh, 412 units times 700 per unit. And that gives us the 288.4. Now, what we're, what we're looking for, this is the sales. And what we're looking for is the, the selling expenses. So they, they're telling us that the selling expenses is 3% of sales. We have commission, commission rate is going to be 3%. So once again, that's point or 2%, sorry, it's 2%, 0.02. So I'm going to go back on there on that 0.02. I'm going to go to the home tab. We're going to go to the uh, numbers group. And again, I could increase the decimals. 0.02 is the same as if I say the percent sign, 2%. And that means that the commission will be the sales of 288.4 times 2% times 0.02 in the calculator. And that'll give us the commission of this 5768. We also pay a salary. So we have a salary, a sales salary to the sales manager of 3000. Therefore, the total sales then would be uh, the selling expense would be the commission, 5768, plus the salary that we pay them, and that will give us the 8768 for the uh, selling expenses. So note that the problem, the main issue with this type of, of problem is to basically format the, the information, put it down in a format that works. Uh, obviously in Excel, it's nice because you can move things around. If you don't have Excel, then you need to get uh, used to how to format different types of problems so you can do it efficiently by hand. It would be the same type of thing, graph like this, but you want to be able to efficiently do that uh, by hand. All right, next one here. Once again, I'm going to try to start off by reading that last line first to see if we can get some information on what needs to be done before we read through the entire thing. So the last line begins right here with budgeted purchases of product A for the year would be. So we need to find out what we're, what the budgeted purchases of A will be. So keep that in mind as we read through the entire thing here. Starting from the top, we have the sales budget for uh, Corp shows 20,200 units of product A and 20,200 units of product B are going to be sold for prices of $10.20 and $12.20 respectively. The desired ending inventory of product A is 30% higher than its beginning inventory 